rice is nice. It is delicious. It cooks faster and feeds large groups well. Rice consumption is increasing as its demand outstrips that of wheat and maize. Over 80% of the rice grown in Kenya is grown in rice paddies. But rice grown in flooded paddies uses too much water and has low yields. System of Rice Intensification SRI, is a set of practices which uses less water and increases yields. SRI is not a type of rice. It is a method that was developed in Madagascar in the 1980s. Professor Norman Uphoff of Cornell University brought SRI to the rest of the world. SRI has been introduced in many countries such as India and Rwanda. Professor Bansi Mati of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, JQUAT, introduced SRI in Kenya in 2009 at the Moya Irrigation Scheme. System of Rice Intensification has seven basic components. Prepare a dry nursery. Transplant younger seedlings. Plant only one seedling. Transplant at wider spacing in a square pattern. Intermittent wetting and drying of paddy mechanical weeding, and use of organic manures. This is done as follows. The paddy field is first soaked for at least five days. The field is ploughed to break the soil crust. The field is then harrowed. If possible, carbonated husks are prepared using a special kiln to enrich the nursery bed, as explained by Mr. Muya. You make sure that you cover every pool. If you cover, you can add even up to this much, depending with the amount of the husk that you have. So, you start seeing the black or the brown color which starts appearing from the top so after this we are going to use to demonstrate how we are going to use in a decomposed haraka, and then to make a manure. So this is what we are expecting. The nursery bed is then prepared. Pre-germinated seeds are then spread over the nursery bed. Like this, and then you moist. This will help because the, the major challenge which has been there is plucking of the young seedlings about 8 to 10 days. So when you lace them in a carbonized husk like this, <coughs> it will be very easy for you to pluck them without destroying the roots and if, even the, the destroying the roots or the, 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 the seeds on the crop. SRI seedlings are raised in an unflooded nursery which is supplied with moisture. At 8 to 12 days old, SRI seedlings are ready for transplanting. Under the conventional system, seedlings are transplanted when they are 21 to 30 days old.
end in clumps of three to five seedlings per hole. Under SRI, transplanting is done at wider spacing. Under conventional paddy, weeding is by hand, which is tiresome. But under SRI, weeding is done using a mechanical weeder and is more efficient. In conventional systems, the paddy field is flooded throughout the growing season. But under SRI, alternate wetting and drying of the paddy field is practiced. Two weeks before harvesting, the paddy is drained to dry out before harvesting. The harvesting and threshing of SRI paddy is done in the normal way. To achieve higher yields from the ratoon, lock load rice rationing can be practiced. This involves bending the remnant stems and stepping on them like this. System of rice intensification has many advantages. In the field, it shows superior crop performance. This is a paddy field of rice grown through the SRI method. Those who know about rice may tell you that these uh, grains, they are called panicles. They are more full. They tell you what, what you call productive tillers. Uh, rice has tillers, which are those blades which go up. Each tiller produces some rice, but under SRI, the productive tillers are more. It also increases rice yields what of is paddy the rice. farmers to adopt this system is actually due to the high production of the crop and the good quality of the production. Through conventional way, farmers mostly get at an average 25 bags, weighing at around 80 to 85 kg per bag. But uh, through this SRI, we have seen farmers improving their production even up to 50%. Right now we are still encouraging farmers uh, to really embrace the system because if all farmers are going to embrace the system, we are going to see a decrease in water utilization which may help in expansion of this scheme. SRI produced better quality grain, as explained yes, by uh, rice millers. The rice which is here now, the one with that we have here, is better than the other. One, it is clean, it is well polished, it has long grains, and it is heavier. So when the farmer is selling, he's up because one penny bag of the SR, SRI variety uh, is weighing about 100, 100 kgs while the other traditional one is about 90 kg. And therefore, the farmer is getting uh, a lot of uh, money from the SRI mill. So if we, have, uh, if we have intensification so that more farmers can be encouraged to use that method, we shall be able to, uh, to completely transform this place and make it uh, very economically good for all the customers and farmers who are using that method. In Western Kenya, millers appreciate the system of rice development company is a subsidiary of uh, Lake Basin Development Authority, which is a, a, a state corporation. Uh, we are uh, uh, rice millers. Uh, basically, we provide a market for the rice farmers in the uh, Kenya side of the Lake uh, Victoria Basin. So it is therefore our desire that uh, the issue of yield 
are extremely unrest and urgently unrest so that uh, farmers can get uh, better yield which will translate into uh, more income for them and uh, we can uh, uh, as buyers we can negotiate uh, reasonable uh, prices uh, for their farming. Another advantage is that it uses so less systems seeds. don't have a lot of seeds. Conventionally farmers have been uh, using about uh, 25 kilograms per, for one acre, but uh, through SRI, 3 kilos, 5 kilos are enough. It also saves on the cost of labor. Because when you use the rotary weeder, you find that you cannot use even more than 1,000. But for weeding here, it's about 4,000 to 5,000 manual. So we have found to SRI from the seed or transplanting to harvesting, it is very economical. However, system of rice intensification also has some challenges, such as weeds can be a menace. Some water birds destroy SRI seedlings. There is also skepticism by some farmers. Research and capacity building for SRI has been implemented. It was a multi-stakeholder partnership bringing together Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, JKWAT, National Irrigation Board, Ministry of Water and Irrigation, and a few other partners like World Bank, uh, and help from, in form of information from Cornell University. From very humble beginnings with two farmer adopters and the earliest research, which was to validate SRI. We started it in a three-pronged approach, which combined uh, scientific research, extension, and capacity building, as well as outreach programs. On research, so far we have uh, built the capacity of four masters level and one PhD through SRI, who have done SRI work. Uh, some of the more interesting outputs of that SRI is uh, first proving that SRI actually does increase yields and save water through the research done. Another one is we tested the, import, the effect of SRI on malaria, more specifically on mosquito breeding. And we conclusively found that because of the wetting and drying the third day, SRI reduces mosquito survival. It actually eliminates completely the mosquito larva once the party has been dried for more than two days. Then another thing we have done is to promote SRI so that it's adopted widely. This one, we call it outreach. We have implemented very many field days for farmers. Field days are quite cost effective because the farmers walk to one particular field, preferably one where an SRI field is being, where there is an SRI field. Then we teach them there on the street side uh, they do a practical as we do the SRI. We, we also have implemented another thing we call uh, open day. An open day is bigger than an SRI uh, field day. We invite speakers, we invite policy makers, we invite press, and then we have many people, we even bring people who are from far by a vehicle, and we train a larger group. We have implemented advertisements mostly in local language, in the local press. And also we have done SMS messaging. We develop an SMS message which tells people about SRI, particularly farmers, and send it to very many farmers. And another innovative way was to use video conferencing. Moya Irrigation Agricultural Development, MIAD, has hosted SRI research activities. National Irrigation Board which was developed as a technical cooperation between the government of Japan and the government of Kenya. And its program started in 1991 as a continuation of the research work which was going on in uh, at NIB through what used to be called Moya Irrigation Research Station. The institution is uh, charged with uh, research programs, mainly uh, f uh, for directed towards irrigated agriculture and also uh, training together with a, a main uh, area of factor of seed production, mainly production rice seed. So most of the seeds that's been grown in the country have come from those institutions. 
uh, this is seeds of uh, irrigated rice and seeds mm -hmm. of uh, Nerica, that is new rice for Africa. Due to the capacity uh, of the institution, we have strengthened the area of collaboration with other research and uh, academic institutions to be able to address all the areas that would foster uh, or that would then enhance uh, food production for food security in the country. So this is how then we were able to link uh, with other institutions for the program of system of rice intensification that is SRI. Yes. So SRI works and it is the future for improvement of food security in the country through the use of a very important grain called rice. Moya Irrigation Scheme pioneered SRI. Put in uh, because we know at the end of the day it will um, end up in increasing our production and reducing our challenges of water shortage. Because indeed, as you know, one of the main uh, advantages of uh, SRI is that you don't have to have the crop and uh, water during all the period. So with that, we are able to have intermittent flooding and drying. And when we re release the water, that water can be used by other farmers elsewhere. So we are only appealing that uh, this program can uh, uh, be enhanced and be upscaled so that at the end of the day we can have uh, the entire scheme uh, adopting this as a system and even be extended to other schemes. The system of rice intensification has been extended to Since Western the Kenya. Past, uh, official um, SRI program in the year 2011, at the start of our COVID program. And uh, because it was too young and a little bit young, we engaged our farmers as building and also exchange visits well. And uh, at the end of the probing program of the year 2011, we were able to have put at least uh, practitioners within the three irrigation projects, that's Ahero, West Kano, and Bunyala. In Bunyala, farmers, in farmers Bunyala have adopted uh, SRI. Really systems of rice intensification, and this has been seen, been seen in terms of expansion of SRI programs in this region. We have a great future in Bunyala. We are currently 2,000 acres, but in the next two years, under the development programs that are ongoing, we will have more than 4,000 acres under rice, which we want to bring these new farmers uh, on board to practice SRI because of the water saving uh, techniques and also minimal inputs, and because of the rising demand of rice, we want farmers to produce more rice. In West Kano, SRI has improved rice production. Uh, for SRI, for varieties like uh, IR, used to have to get around 25 bucks per acre. But today, we have farmers who have gone up to 39 bucks per acre. At the same time, for basmati, which is low yielding here, we used to get 15, but now at least I'm getting farmers who, have, uh, who are getting around uh, 20, 25, 20, 25. Farmers appreciate the many benefits of adopting SRI. SRI. <laughs> amefanyia mimi mengi kama nilikuja kwa SRI last year iko samba yangu moja nilipatia mimi 35 samba yangu moja nilipatia 30 so the, the one who did the 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 was 25 so nilikuta kama hii system ya SRI ni msuri kusinda anything so i'm saying am a SRI damu SRI ya kwanza kwangu nilipata gunia 32. Tena nilipanda kama mbegu isa kuwa na siku 18. Na hii ya leo hii nilipanda kama mbegu ilikuwa na siku 12. Tena ninafuraha sana nikiona hivi zile inaendelea. Uh, hii, hii kilimu ya SRI ndiyo kilimu changu sasa. Sita rudi nyuma. The National Irrigation Board, NIB, also supports SRI, as the general manager explains. The National Irrigation Board 
produces almost 90% of the rice produced in this country. Of course, the 10% is produced by other producers who include smallholders and, and the Ministry of Regional Development in its fuel irrigation schemes. Now, the production of, of rice includes use of a lot of water. And Kenya basically is a water scarce country. And therefore, we have been looking at, and we're looking at, ways of using less water but producing more. There's research still going on in other fields, but we view SRI, which has been adopted in other countries, as one of the best methods of reducing the water used and producing more. And therefore, when this concept was proposed to us by <coughs> Jomo Kenyatta University, a university uh, we decided to adopt it and to fully support it and embrace it. We intend that all farmers in the next about five years, which is in the media in the, in the near future, should have adopted the SRI. This will reduce the amount of water and therefore make it available to other farmers for use in other ways. We Kamalisa, 10 days, Kapalia Mara, please. Kukwa, the Changamuka, Kukwa, Naya. What you want to say?